Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Armin. In this video, I will talk about calculating a material's surface impedance in Comsol Multiphysics. After that, I will calculate the absorption coefficient of a material with a biot allard theory based on the data of a paper. biot allard theory is slightly more accurate than JCA, particularly in lower frequencies. The johnson champu allard or JCA model has a rigid body and biot allard can capture the effects of material elasticity. This is part 1 tutorial, and I will model a sample and calculate the surface impedance of the material by JCA model. Please follow me until the end of the tutorial. Here we have to define the space of geometry. Sample is a cylinder, so I'm going to select 3D. In the physics window, I'm going to select pressure acoustics frequency domain. After that, I'm going to click on add. By clicking on the study button, we will go to the study window. I will select frequency domain and click on done. Time to create geometry. I need a cylinder with a diameter of 46 mm and a length of 200 mm. Be aware that the cylinder should be longer than the sample. Dimensions of sample are in millimeters, so I will change the length unit from meters to millimeters. The thickness of sample is 100 millimeters. Therefore, I need a layer. Here we can add a layer on top, bottom, or side of the cylinder. I will click on the material and select Add Material from Library. In the Material window, I have to select the materials. I need air and I can select it by double-clicking on it or clicking on Add to Component. OK. I want to specify an inlet for the cylinder domain. I can select Port or Plane Wave Radiation and the answer won't change. Port is more simple than plane wave inlet. The amplitude of the sound won't change the answer. Therefore, I'll enter 1 Pascal. Sample cross section is circular, and it needs two reference axes. The next step is to define the porous sample. We can select Poracoustics model from Domains in Physics tab. Poracoustics model of the article is Johnson Champu Allard. I don't change fluid properties because they are properties of air. In porous matrix properties, we have to enter five parameters of JCA model. Table 3 shows 5 parameters that we need. By changing from material option to user defined, we can enter values. Frequency range is 0 to 5000 Hz, 
so I enter frequency interval up to 5000 Hz in setup. I'm going to leave the default mesh options and click on build all. Finally, I will click on compute. After the solution is finished, it is time to calculate the absorption coefficient. I have to define the reflection and absorption coefficient formula in the variables window. The reflection coefficient is defined as the ratio of the reflected power to the incident power. Absorption coefficient is defined 1 minus R. After defining each variable or operator, we need to update the solution. I need a one plot group and a global expression. I should use x-axis log scale for plot. Now the two figures are similar. JCA theory calculates the absorption coefficient above 100 Hz. Now I want to define acoustic impedance. In the first step, I have to calculate the average cross-sectional area of the sample. Then we can define the acoustic impedance formula. Acoustic impedance is the ratio of acoustic pressure to particle velocity. In the global plot, we cannot see the variables. Therefore, from the 3D plot group, I see the expression of the particle velocity. I need particle velocity in X direction. Z is a predefined expression. Therefore, I'll change it to ZS.
I want to plot the imaginary part of acoustic impedance. Note that expression are case sensitive. Y axis is from 4 to 2. From the axis, we can adjust the intervals. The article has calculated the normalized impedance. Therefore, the impedance must be divided by the speed of sound and air density. I've changed variables, so I have to click on Update Solution. We encountered an error because we did not enter speed and density in the average function. This is the imaginary part of impedance. Now I want to plot real part. Now I want to plot the real part. I'm going to adjust Y axis from here. As in the article, it is possible to plot two graphs with two Y axes. I have to check the two Y axes. Plot real and imaginary parts in two separate global. Then select second global for the second y axis. Ultimately, I will adjust legend and names. The imaginary part is the same as the article, but the real part has a slight difference. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel.